In this video, we will learn about lost non-blank value function in ducks. So according to the documentation, it evaluates an expression filtered by this sorted column. The ducks engine always sort the column and then it evaluates and returns the last value of the expression that is not blank. So let's try to implement this function in ducks and then we will see further. So in the last video, we have learned about first non-blank value color and first non-blank value. Here we have created two measure. So let me copy and paste first non-blank value here. I need to create one measure here. And the name is last non-blank here. And we need to change the formula. This is last non-blank value. And the first column is, is the date column and the last one is uh, expression, the calculate sum or product sale. Hit enter. And let me copy and paste this card and drag and drop this last blank value here. So here I'm getting 300. So it is this column is already sorted by date and I'm getting 300. So it is the last expression for the date column. So in the same way, let me write one more measure for the color. Just copy. And I need to create one more measure here. This is last non-blank value color. And here it is last non-blank value. Last non-blank value. And the first column is the color and then the last is the product sale expression. So let me copy and paste this card and uh, last non-blank value color so I need to drag and drop so here you can see I'm getting 1000 and here you can see the last non-blank expression for the color is 300 but it is showing 1000 so as we have applied the first column is the color column so the dust engine will sort it color wise so the last non-empty expression is, is this one, 600. The, the calculate works under the current filter context and it will sum up all the sales that belong to yellow. So 6 plus 300 plus 100, it, it will be 1000. We can also apply one slicer here for the color slicer. So here if I click black, so the non last non-blank color is 3 plus 200 plus 200 plus 100, so it will be 800. And uh, if we look at the last non-blank value here, so it will be 200 but we need to first sort by date. So this is the last non-blank expression for the, for the year, that is 200. But if we look at like uh, blue or the, we can see yellow or the green, we are getting 500 for the last non-blank so the last non-blank is 300 
but then it will apply the filter context and for the filter context we need to sum up all the sales that belong to green so then it will sum up all these things so this is how cost non blank value function works in ducks